Oh, starting the day early because I'm meeting Turks later to give him his pepperettes. But I'm gonna do groceries first. And I don't think I can vlog too much of it just because I'll be full handed, as you can see. Um, but maybe I'll do a mini grocery haul to start off the week. So let's do this. It's funny because every time I tell myself, don't buy too much grocery soap, you're just one single ass person, I do the exact opposite. Sorry for the cleave. But it is what it is. Let me show you guys what I got. I got some new things, so if it's a repetitive thing, I won't bother showing it because it's typical. But my coworker was telling me about this um, Thai kitchen thing, and she said it's really good, especially the ingredients, uh, the recipe that's attached to it. So I do want to try that out. And I've gotten into the swing of like uh, enjoying to cook. Sometimes it's annoying to cook because, you know, I'm just finished work and I'm tired. Yeah. I also got myself two of these fucking ice creams because I can never find these and they were on sale. It's my favorite um, Hagen dazs flavor. It's so, so good. I have to buy two of those. Yeah. Let's aluminum paper or aluminum foil. rest is almost the same. I got two of these cheeses because I couldn't decide. But Havarti jalapeno cheese and Gouda jalapeno cheese. They were both on sale, but I was just like, yo, these two combined is cheaper than a huge chunk of this. So my math skills be on deck. Had to get both of them. Of course, if your fridge stinks, get this. Um, and I got two small watermelons because I think it's the last bit of the season right now. But yeah, I don't know how it went to this. I bought so much. So I'm just going to organize that. And then I have to text Turks and uh, figure out when to meet because time's a ticking. So Turks brought me here. Oh my gosh. I was just telling him, I don't remember the last time we were here together. It's been so long. But... We are gonna feast, and I'll show you guys my first plate. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Okay, so it looks the way I played it, it looks horrible, but it So these are my nails. Oh god, there's a freaking pen mark there. But uh, these are my new nails, and I really like them. The shape of it is gorgeous. And can you believe these are my real nails? Yep. So this is the color on the other side. I think it's really cute. My only thing is that the edges are so sharp because I did ask for a square. Now, I don't know if I would go back per se um, because it was a little bit pricey for these um, because they charge for taking off your prior nails. Whereas my usual go-to, they don't really charge you for taking off your old nails, which I like. It's just a little bit far for me. So the other place, um, something like this would have costed me like 30 maybe $40 tops, but I paid $30 more for these, which is insane. Um, but for one, it is biogel, so it's like the highest quality of acrylics or shellac, whatever. Um, and I don't know, they charged for the takeoff and then uh, the design plus the UV gel on top, so it did add up. So would I go there again? Maybe, we'll see. But there are other uh, nail salons that I want to check out that are closer to me. Because if you guys don't know, the place that I usually go to is like literally an hour mission. An hour and a half mission. But the plus side is that it's an Asian mall. So like um, there's lots of like Asian goodies, Asian snacks. So I usually do my once in a month, uh, once a month sort of travel there. But I'm vlogging because uh, remember when I told you guys I accidentally deleted my footage of the celebrations bomb? So I was telling my manager about it and she's so sweet. She didn't take hers home. So she's like, so if like you can take mine if you want, as long as I grab the one that I want. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, yeah, of course. Like, oh my gosh, are you sure? She's like, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to take it. So she gave me hers. So definitely going to film that before the celebrations bomb end. And then I also went to shoppers today. I kind of shopped a lot because today was the um, sales event, you know, the points re redemption event thing. So I bought basically necessities, toothpaste, 
Um, I was going to buy the charcoal one, but why buy the charcoal one for like six something when I can get two for less of a price? Also stocked up on these because I told myself I'll only buy it if it goes on sale or if it's a points redemption thing. And they were working really well for me and I started taking them again just because I've been doing the intermittent fasting. And then I bought um, AAA batteries. I think these were supposed to be like $24.99, but on the receipt, it said she only charged me for 12 So I'm like, and same with these. Like, look at this. I got a 16 pack, right? I think this is a 16 pack of AA. And yeah, she basically charged me only 12 bucks for both of them. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I only noticed it when I went went home i'm like oh she didn't charge me for the correct one but whatever and then i got my usual vagicil this is like a staple if you are conscious of your vajayjay -vaj smelling and it also balances your ph level so definitely check this one out right now i'm using the white tea one and i like it but i think i preferred um this one better so it smells good white gum because why not uh, air freshener for my shoe closet because I like making sure my shoe closet slash coat closet smells good. This was on sale. It's my go-to um, drugstore uh, eyeliner. Be all thanks to Jacqueline. She recommended this. So it's the Physician Formula Dark Brown. Regular, it's like almost $18. $18.99, but it was on sale for like $11 something. $11.89. I got two of these, two, four, five. Um, dental flossers because yeah you should floss your teeth and then this I was gonna buy the summer's eve of uh, vaginal wipes <laughs> um, but the thing was I don't know what it is it's like a freaking thing where you know girl shavers are more expensive than guy shavers but they're the exact same thing uh, I could be wrong but they work the same whereas this one it's kids wipes I, it, there was two packs of it for only I think it was I don't want to butcher it let me see where are you PC baby wipes for $4.49, whereas the Summer's Eve, which is a woman's wipes, they were like five something each. And I'm like, okay, and there was only 30 wipes in each. So I'm just saying, if this is safe enough for babies, I'm going to use it. So I have one in my bag just in case, you know, I need to give a quick wipe. Can you tell I'm like a germaphobe? I want to make sure down there is clean. And then I also got a new deodorant, which I'm really excited to try. This is the Rose and Vanilla Natural Deodorant uh, by Schmitz. Because uh, I'm almost running out of my, uh, whatchamacallit, the chemistry brand run. Which I do like, but obviously I want to look for something else. So there's this. I was actually going to buy the one from Sage, the spray. But then I don't want to use an aerosol can anymore. And I think this one is recyclable. I'm looking at it. I'm pretty sure it's recyclable plastic, I hope. Um, but yeah. No aluminum or anything. And it smells really nice and light, so I don't mind. And then also got this because you always need Kleenex. I was going to do an impulse buy and buy um, a throw blanket, but then it was like for 25 bucks, And I told myself, I'm like, so if you don't really need a throw blanket right now, you have your own blanket. You just use that. So yeah, that's basically what I bought from shoppers. All the necessities. Um, I did save $42.38. Um, the total was like almost $100. But uh, it's stuff that I'm going to use. And right now, it's the 20 times points events event. So that's why I did that. And I have now $100 worth of points, which is amazing. I'm trying to like save up so at least I can possibly redeem it for like a Wii or a Wii Switch or something, you know. But we'll see. Now, I don't know. So yesterday, you know how I vlogged at the buffet? I literally couldn't eat the whole day because I felt like stones were in my stomach. So this intermittent fasting, my window of eating is 4 to 12. Um, so that's the 8-hour window. But because I went out with Turks yesterday for 12 or um, 2, we ate a little bit earlier than the hour window. And oh my god, I just felt like shit the whole day. So I didn't eat my first meal till five o'clock today so that's like a whole 24 hours or more of fasting um but i'm not i don't know for some reason i'm not really wanting to eat solids so i'm probably gonna make a smoothie very soon and just eat like a light snack just so i can get something in my stomach um and then i have to pack for hamilton because uh it's lena's gender reveal party on sunday so yeah i should um organize my life a little bit and for figure it out
This used to say Ugly Girl Gang, but this sweetie pie over here <laughs> freaking wrote beautiful on it and stuck it on my apron. Oh, girl. Yeah, let's like use the setup. It's so cute. And they got like boots here. Some cakes have arrived. I know because I found one that had two, right? But these so are meant for twins. <laughs> So we're playing this game. Are we doing bonus on here? Guess who's winning? Okay, you see how it's says whichever way twist the arrow spins. There, so the top goes that way and the bottom goes easy. Okay. What? But hey, wait. I don't think she got that. Close your eyes and don't do it. Don't, don't. With, can somebody get her jacket over there? The the, the, the mustard there. yellow looking thing in the purse. Yeah, you have to move from mustard there. Yellow. I got the jacket. Oh, she's cold. She wants her jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Where's it? 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 Okay, pictures. 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 pictures for. Oh. Just rip it. Oh my God. Oh, 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 So I bought these new shoes from Walmart, which I think is pretty good steal, only for $15. And the best part is that this is not a tied up shoelace. Basically they sewed it so I don't have to worry about tying up my shoelaces anymore. They look really nice. I mean for $15, that's not bad, but I'm guessing the material isn't that great. Like. But I want to see how long they last. I also got another pair in black because I just loved it so much. And so far, wearing it, it feels really comfortable. And I can definitely wear it for like casual or, um, you know. It works well with like dress pants too, I think. But yeah, today I'm just working until 8.30. I only have like about two hours left, which is nice. And then tomorrow back to work again working a lot this week actually I don't think I have a wait I do have a day off on Saturday but um I think it's like planned with other things but we shall see um I don't know if I'm gonna do anything on Saturday and then today like I poked myself in the eye with my nails and my nails are so sharp on the side so yeah oh, but I love it I love them so much so you can tell I'm very delirious right now I don't know I feel like my mood it's not in the greatest at the moment, but I'm trying to work on it, you know? I'm trying to be better in terms of, like, not allowing something or someone to be to be part of my happiness. Like, I don't want to be happy just because I'm talking to somebody or whatnot if I'm being totally transparent with you guys. I just find that sometimes I question, like, whether or not, uh, I don't know. How do I say this in not a desperate way? But what is desperate? Um, you know, when you're happy, when you're having somebody's company and stuff, I just feel like because I don't have this company anymore, I'm not as happy as I should be. And I'm trying to embrace being alone. But sometimes it's tough because, like, my family or whatnot puts pressure on me. Like, oh, so when are you going to do this? When are you going to do that? Which I shouldn't let the pressure get over me. But if I'm being totally real with it, it does. And I don't know when I will... Honestly, I don't know when I will find that connection with somebody again. It sucks. 
it off. If I'm being totally honest, it's just really hard to connect with somebody at the moment. And I'm trying to be open. I'm trying to be uh, mindful of things. But when I'm being so open and passive, I find that they step all over me. So that's going to be a dating segment, story, whatever you want to call it. But that's basically where I'm at right now. I just feel like my life is on repeat and I want to do something new with it, but I don't know what. So I think this is what they call a midlife crisis. And that is me. But I'm sure I'll feel better within a couple hours. It's just one of those lows where you go up and down. And obviously I want to talk to you guys about life and be as honest and open as possible. So that's where I am right now. Yeah. My hair is actually getting quite long too, even though it's dead as fuck. Um, it's quite long, which I'm really excited. I want it to be like up to here. So I'm waiting for my hair to grow. And then my roots are coming in too, which is great. So 